X V L O G. O X block. Yeah, ox block. Ox block. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Cool. See you. See you. Hey, team ox block. It's me, Nabila. I feel like I haven't seen you in ages, but here I am with a new video for this week. Originally, I planned for this video to be something related to the China Center but I need someone to help me film that and so I couldn't do that this week. Instead, I'm bringing you to Modern Art Oxford, which I thought was closed when I saw this, but it's not closed. They're just remodeling a few things, which could be quite interesting actually. I saw this saying Mao Gallery. I realized it means Modern Art Oxford, studying Chinese studies. I just thought they meant Chairman Mao as my first impression. Anyways, Oxford has a few museums and they have a few small galleries. This is probably the biggest one. And even then it's not that big. But I'm going to show you today because I like art and I have some free time. Actually, no, I made free time to show you. So um, I think the lighting is going to change a lot throughout this video. We're coming into a white room. Whoa, it's a white room with construction stuff. Oh, I like this. What is this? Cool. It's all the same exhibition floor. Let's go check it out. Oh, I can see it. Go this way first. So I think this is going to be a little bit hard to film because I don't want to disrupt what's going on in that room, which I tried to show you just now. How do I say this? It's quite empty, but there's some construction equipment laid out, which I kind of appreciate because I like construction. And I've said that in another video. Let me take you through to the next part and then I'll pause again and talk to you for a bit. I'm starting to think the thing that was written outside was like a pun for everything that's going on. They said that they're working on their fabric. Ah, that's a lot of Whoa. Whoa. Oh my god. Okay, so tell me what your interpretations are. Wow. Okay, so I'm standing here with this a little bit less people. What are your interpretations of this? So, it's been kind of difficult to film in here. I'll show you the rest of the place. They gave me a little leaflet explaining some of the exhibitions. And it's... Oh my god. And then, we're gonna go to the cafe and some other areas. This is a fail, so... Oh my god. But the gift shop is quite cool because it's very conceptual. And I think they got rid of some of the stuff. No, no, no. So there's this. They have all these notebooks with messages that go against how they have been presented, I guess. So it says, please do not bend. Well, if you see, you can tell that it's been bent. And then there were more stuff last time and I just, I don't know. They've got a lot of those hung up, I guess. And then there's this one, which I think previously was like put upside down. And then there's all these fun books, drawing books, art books. They have like cards and post, post, what is it called? Ming Xing Ken. Oh my God, postcards. <laughs> Postcards. <laughs> you know, yesterday in one of my classes, my teacher was telling me that my English translation sounded bad. I understood everything, and like in Chinese, she said that she understood me in Chinese. Like I was speaking English, but she understood my logic from a Chinese sense. And that's the same thing that was happening to me. So everything in my head was like the Chinese mind, but in English, it wasn't coming out so nicely. And it's crazy because I don't think my Chinese is very good at the moment, but it's messing with my mind. I don't think I've... I've come up there before. Everything kind of leads to the same place. I'm gonna go downwards and see if we haven't seen that part already. This is a cafe. It's a little bit loud, but we'll go back there afterwards. Okay. <laughs> this is so funny. I am now standing next to the lift because I feel like this is the only time where I can talk properly. I'm standing in front of a lift because this is the only time where I can't disrupt other people and other people can't disrupt me. And I'll just quickly say a few things. Originally, I wanted my video for this week because we're supposed to make videos every two weeks and I definitely value this schedule and I really want to stick to it. So this week I wanted to make a video related to the China Center, which is where all my lessons take place because I do Chinese studies. And it's a really, really nice building, so I want to show you guys. But the video I had in mind 
would work best if I had another person helping me. And in order to coordinate that, it's been quite hard to find times. To be honest, mainly because I've been busy. <laughs> but um, yeah, hopefully soon. And in any case, I will probably put it on my own channel if it doesn't happen on Oxvlog. Which I'm not even trying to promote my own channel, but if you are interested, um, I'll leave it in the description bar because I have some videos related to my course. So if you are interested in Oriental Studies or Chinese, then go check it out. But yeah, um, that video will probably come out the next time I have to upload on Oxvlog, hopefully. And yeah, as always, if you have any other requests, then feel free to let me know because I'm very open to suggestions and I can try and get that done. And what have I got going on today? So today is Friday of third week and I had Korean class just before I came here. And then obviously I'm here now because I didn't want to just not upload anything this week. So I decided I would show you Modern Art Oxford because I wanted to do that at some point. But then I was like, you know what, why not do it now? And then after this, I have a barbecue the ISOC Islamic Society hosts a leavers barbecue every year. It's basically dedicated to the finalists, the people who will be leaving and graduating after their final exams this year and we have like a proper barbecue just before Ramadan which is next Wednesday so we'll be fasting from next Wednesday wish me luck for that and yeah it's going to be super cute because it's a proper barbecue and also because I'm communications chair it's been my job to compile a video for the leavers which basically includes clips from their friends saying nice things about them and wishing them good luck in the future and we're going to show that to everybody at the end of the barbecue and people will cry I put in a really nice soundtrack from Studio Ghibli, so it's not too sad, I'm not too happy, and I think it works perfectly. <laughs> and it's crazy, because I never expected my third year to be so heavily dominated by making videos. Like, I do my work as well, I have to always tell people I do a lot of work, because if you don't, you just, you wouldn't, it just wouldn't work, because we have so much work for this course, and people need to realise that. But, I've been making so many videos as well, because, obviously, Oxvlog, which, you know, you have to apply to do Oxvlog, so that's why I feel so passionately about sticking to the schedule and I feel like I'm very active in Oxvlog. While I'm talking about this, go follow our Instagram page because we post a lot on there and it's new to this year. I'm talking quite fast, I seem to always do that in these videos. It's because I'm trying to think of everything at the same time. So yeah, I've been making Oxvlog videos, then I've been making videos for my own channel now and for the Islamic Society's channel. And then there's a bunch of videos that are private that the internet will never see but I've had to make for people as well. This week I've made three, including the Leavers video for the ISOC, but I've made three compilation videos. And yeah, I can't complain, it's fun, but I just never expected it, so it's really funny. And it keeps me busy. So, we're gonna go now. So today the whole gallery is mm, featuring the work of Cynthia Marcel. Oh, last time I came to Modern Art Oxford, I actually posted a picture on our Instagram page, so really do check it out. But um, yeah, so this whole exhibition features Family in Disorder, Truth or Death, which is a very interesting title. I think the next part is another video area, so I'm just not going to talk. But I'm going to show you, so let's go, because I'm not getting the lift. I just came here to talk. <laughs> let's go. Oh, and also, look at my outfit. Yay! Oh, it's this. I do quite like this outfit. I do quite like the setup, because it's quite grungy. We've got bricks in here. This is part of it. Uh, so this shows you how the eggs bit was set up, the one upstairs that I tried to show you. It's a time lapse. They always do this kind of thing, it's quite cool. I was being stared at, so I'm gonna leave because I think you get the idea. What's behind there? Oh, it's a kitchen. On my way here, I was walking with a classmate and I invited them to join me. Basically, they don't like this place that much. Someone else told me the same thing recently and you know, everyone's allowed an opinion. I understand why they were saying it, well, actually, their view was that it's just too contemporary, and that's an opinion that I don't really share. But this place isn't that big, so there's not loads of things to see. There's stuff hang up over here as well. I'm like completely ignoring everyone staring at me, because I just have to tell you more stuff. If you read this, that might explain it. And then I'll show you the cafe area as well. I've shown you as much as I can. Some of the exhibitions are maybe more fun, but it really depends on your preference. And if you want to come here yourself, here it is. It's not too far from the new Westgate Center. It's like around the corner on one of the streets, but it's very easy to find. Keep in touch. Okay, visit, comments. What comment would you leave if you came here? Leave it in the comments below. Oh my gosh, that was so smart. Oh my gosh, okay. Very, very smart. I want to take this one, but then this one's in color. So I'm going to take this. This brochure would feature some of the exhibits that are going to happen throughout this period. But for today, I have shown you Cynthia Massa. Oh, and then there's all these things. 
showing people, saying thank you to supporters. I always like this part as well. Let me know what your interpretations are of everything that I've said. There's filmers. They definitely beat me. There's like me, and then there's these guys. Oh. There's a lot of filming going on today. Yes. What are you, huh? what are you doing? Is it a... It's a student outreach project uh -huh. called Oxblog. I don't know if you've heard of it. No, I haven't. I haven't heard of it. It's on YouTube, so you oh, can it? check it out. Yeah. Cool. I have a look. What's, what's going to be the title of it? I haven't decided yet. You can give me some input. I was just going to say, like, Modern Art Oxford. That's good. Exactly. Yeah, sure, sure. So they also have this book section. I'm guessing these might just be to read while you're here. And possibly some of them might be in the gift shop if you want to buy them. But they do look very interesting, actually. All I want to know is, what does everything mean? So in the comments, please tell me what you think things mean. Maybe we can understand life together. Have some bar, Oh, okay. There is a bar. Oh, and they have um, social media as well, so you can check it out. The cafe. Mm. Thank you, you too. Uh, that was nice. I told him about our channel. Our channel. Did you see how I said that? Our channel. It's a collective. And my channel as well. And now I think I'm just going to leave because... Oh, I was going to leave, but... Sick. This has construction stuff in there too. I just, I really do like construction. But that exhibit, I don't know, wasn't necessarily my kind of thing. But yeah, I didn't get anything from the cafe because I have to go to the barbecue very soon. I hope you did enjoy this kind of crazy video. Do come here for yourself when you visit Oxford. Do try to visit Oxford because if you are considering applying and stuff, you could definitely come for open days and visit the colleges that you're interested in applying to or staying at and if you're interested in Univ well you should check out my room tour video that I filmed last time I'll link that at the end and have a very nice day leave comments down below bye